Hello my friends, uh, welcome to my live stream. This is Cook with Chef Francis, making it real on YouTube. So today, I will be making fish roll. Yeah, I will be making fish roll. And of course, I will be making a Nigerian fish roll. So uh, I will be doing the oven baked fish roll. And of course, I will be using my salmon fish to make it. And I also be teaching how to bake with an oven. So for those who don't have oven, can as well, you know, bake their fish roll in a pot. So welcome back to my live stream. Welcome to Cook with Chef Francis. My name remains Francis. So I'm um, making this live stream you know to from start to finish and basically i'll be making the fish pie dough you know it's a fish roll so it's like a pie as well so i'll be making the fish pie roll and that's the fish pie dough and as well as um, the fish pie fish the fish roll fillings so the fish roll fillings and the fish roll dough i'll be making it right here on youtube so sit back, relax, and enjoy, my friends. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to get started straight away to make my lovely fish roll. So basically, I need my ingredients. So of course, I'll be talking about the recipes and the method before I start. And of course, when we're making our dough, our favorite, uh, you know, ingredient is flour. Of course, we need our flour, so I'll be using the plain white flour. And of course, I'll be adding butter, you know, and I'll be adding my favorite spices. You know, I love nutmeg. I always spice my grand nutmeg. And of course, I want to add flavor to my dough, then, I will be adding vanilla flavor to my lovely dough because I want my dough to be, you know, lovely and uh, you know taste great and all that. So that's what I want. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spice it and add flavor into it. And of course, we don't want our pie to break apart. You know, your fish roll could be fried or could be baked but I'm gonna be baking my fish roll I'm not gonna fry it I'll be doing the oven bake one but I'll be teaching uh, those who want to learn with the pot method so I'm gonna wish my uh, my viewers again you know this is Christmas season and we are approaching the new year we celebrated Christmas on 25th and yesterday was the boxing day so we're still under the Christmas season. So I'm going to wish my viewers again a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. We pray to have a successful 2021. So everyone wants to see the New Year, of course. New Year, new things, new celebration, you know. So I'm happy to be here again for this lovely live stream. You know, I'll, I'll be making something unique and something very wonderful, you know. And tomorrow I'll be making the tempura veg, you know, the Japanese tempura, I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'll be starting that at 11 a.m. in the morning. So for today, I'm making fish roll, the Nigerian fish roll. So let's get started, my friends. It's gonna be a lovely pastry, a lovely dough, and a lovely filling. I'll be using salmon for my fish, but of course you could use a uh, macro. You could use hard dog, you could use sea bass, you could use your favorite fish, but I'll be using salmon, you know, for my for my uh, lovely fish pie. So I'll be right back, my friends. I want to grab my ingredient. 
I will write back in just a second. Thank you very much. So my friends, I'm back now. Uh, I need uh, I need flour, so I'm gonna grab my flour now. I need flour. I need baking powder. Of course, I need flavor, my friends. Flavor. Uh, I'll be using this on my dough, so I'll get the ingredients for my fillings. So I'll be using salmon fish. Salmon. And of course. I'll be using my bell pepper. You can use your green, yellow, or red. So I want to use the yellow one. And of course, I need carrots. So I'm going to add, you know, you could use one large carrot or a medium size, you know, or two small carrots, that's enough. And of course, I need my uh, potatoes, the white potatoes, just one, that's enough. I'll pop it there. So, my potatoes, I'll be using that for my fillings, and that one, and um, carrot, and my fish. That's my feelings. So I'll set them aside. Then uh, my flavor, my uh, baking powder, flour. That's gonna be used for the uh, uh, for the dough. So of course I need cold water. So I'm gonna pop cold water in the freezer. So it's gonna chill quickly because I need it for my dough. So. I'll pop that in the freezer now. Yeah, my friends, uh, my my water is in the freezer now, and of course I need butter for my dough, so I'll, I'll get butter now. So that's butter, I need that one, you know, yeah, I need butter, I need flour, I need sea salt, you can use your normal table salt, but I love using sea salt, so that's alright, and of course I need egg, you know, I can use one or half egg, that's alright. So my friends, we need egg 
But now, what I'm gonna do now, my friends, is uh, I'm gonna wash my fish, dry with a J cloth, and I'm gonna grill this fish because I wanna use this lovely salmon, you know, this salmon fillet. I'm gonna use it to make my sauce. So I wanna grill it first. So I'm gonna oven cook it for 25 minutes and you know i'll be i'll be happy with my result and i'm going to use it you know for my feeling so let me wash this lovely salmon fillet and grill it in the oven so i'll get my uh, oven tray now and uh, start the process of grilling So that's my parchment paper. So I'm going to pop that one there. So uh, So that's my uh, packing paper. So I'll set that on my side. Now I'm gonna open that my fillet. So I just need uh, two of those, you know, two of those fillets. So I'm going to wash that now. I'm going to run that in water and I'm going to quickly dry with the jetro and grill it. That's my salmon fillet. That's two salmon fillet. So I'm gonna dry that. I'm gonna dry that one now. I'm gonna dry with my J cloth. So you see, it looks absolutely nice, lovely feeling. So I'm gonna pop that fillet on my tray. You know, when you're grilling, you make it skin down. skin down so now my friends I have two salmon fillet so now I'm gonna sprinkle olive oil a little bit of olive oil I'm going to add um, a little bit of sea salt. Sea 
sea salt. I'm also going to add um, turmeric. I need to wash my hands. It's full of a uh, little fish. So now, my friends, I have my filleted salmon, two of those, um, with olive oil on top and uh, sea salt. So I'm going to top it with um, pepper, with a little bit of black pepper. A little bit of ginger and, uh, and ground turmeric. A little bit of turmeric. A little bit of ginger. You know. Then uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of um, garlic cloves. Uh, my garlic. Then. Uh, I'm going to pop my garlic on that, so I need to, you know, make a garlic puree. So I'm going to make a garlic puree now with my cook's knife. So I need the garlic puree now. So uh, I'm gonna get just just one of those. Yeah, I need like so like two garlic. I need like from three three garlic cloves. Uh, I'm using that for my fish. You know, just to spice my fish. That's alright. Three of those. I'll put that away. So I'm gonna chop those and make a puree. So my friends, I'm going to use my cook's knife now to uh, you know to make my puree. make my puree now because my my garlic my garlic puree is gonna add flavor it's gonna add flavor in my fish so I'm gonna pop my garlic puree right in there
So uh, I got my puree now ready. So I'm gonna pop that on my uh, fish just on top. I'm gonna pop that all over because I want my fish, you know, I want it to add flavor to my fish. So it's gonna be absolutely nice, you know. I'm gonna have a very nice tasty fish. I want it very sweet, full of ingredient and flavor. Now, um, I got my fish ready to go under the grill, you know. So I'm gonna rub the oil over it. So the garlic is gonna go in, you know, I want to rub it all over. You know, I'm flipping it. I'm gonna flip it and mix it with the olive oil and flip it back again. So all the flavor stays, you know, in the lovely marinated fish. So I got my fish ready to go with the ginger. So now I'm gonna pop that in the oven now. So I'll, I'll oven cook that for 25 minutes. So let me over cook that, over cook that for 25 minutes, I beg your pardon. Straight into the oven for 25 minutes. So my oven is on now. For 25 minutes in the oven. So that's that oven gas mark. The oven gas mark, 25 minutes, and uh, you know, I could, you could put yours at 200 degrees or 220, that's enough. So now my friends, uh, you know, I'll be back with my um, chopping board again. I'm still gonna use my chopping board. So now, I wanna make, why my um, dough, my fish is cooking in the oven. I'll quickly make my dough. You know, I'm gonna make my dough now. So before I start making my dough, I'm gonna explain what to do. So my friends, if you're just joining this wonderful live stream, this is, Cook with Chef Francis. And my name is Francis. So I said I'll be making fish roll and I'll be using uh, salmon as the fish to make my lovely filling. And of course, I'll be making a lovely, you know, dough. So basically, what I need is about six ingredients. So I'll be telling you the recipes now. So my friends, if you have your pen and your jota, you can write down the recipes. So one, we need flour. We need flour for our, for our dough. So we need 250 grams of plain white flour. Secondly, we need one teaspoon of baking powder. One hundred and twenty-five grams of butter. I'll be using the unsalted butter, the British unsalted butter. is what I'm going to be using. And of course, when you're making a pastry, a short course pastry, like fish roll, your 
butter should be half your flour. And of course, if you want to add spices, you can add. So I'll be adding my nutmeg. So I'm going to grab my nutmeg now because I need nutmeg to spice my flour. Nutmeg is my favorite spice when it comes to bread making, making bread, donut, meat pie or whatever. I love nutmeg to make my dough. It's absolutely nice. I love it. It gives it a very nice aroma, you know, and it adds flavor to it. So of course, I'll be using my vanilla flavor. So nutmeg will be one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla flavor. I have my vanilla flavor out there. So I'll be using one teaspoon of vanilla flavor. And of course, I'll be adding egg. I'll be using half egg. You can use one small egg or half large one. That's all right. And I'll be adding salt into my dough. So of course, uh, for the fillings, I'll be using yellow bell pepper. You could use a green bell pepper or the red one. That's all right. And I need carrots for my fillings. I'm also going to be using uh, potatoes for my fillings as well. And of course, my salmon fish is in the oven cooking. So I'm going to add my salmon fish, the fillet, straight, you know, into the sauce, the wonderful sauce. So I'm going to get started now. So when I start, I'll be explaining what I'm doing. You know, so I'm going to make my dough now. After making my dough, I will chill it in the fridge because when you're making a meat pie dough, you need to chill it. If you don't chill it, it's going to crack. So you need to chill it. And that's why, you know, I need to do that. So I'm going to get started now. So welcome to my live stream again. As I said, this is Kuku Chef Francis making a reel on YouTube. And here, you get everything from start to finish, step by step. No skipping, no fast forwarding. Of course, if I was making an upload, I could fast forward and the viewers might be you know, confused of what I'm doing. You know what I mean? But here, I'm making it for real from start to finish. So all the ingredients and recipe, you get them here. I don't need to send it to your blog or your website for your recipe. So when I list them here, my viewers always you know, write them down. They use their jotter and their pen to write it down, and of course, they love it. Real recipes, real method, everything good result. This is my 17th live stream, and if you check out my previous live stream playlist, you're gonna see that everything is for real, and I produce good quality food from start to finish. Same picture you see on the uh, on the thumbnail. That's what. You know, I may, I don't make something different. Tastes very great, nice aroma, sensational dishes. Right here on Cuckoo Chef Francis, making it on YouTube. If this is your first time watching my live stream, please remember to click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss the latest from Cuckoo Chef Francis. Making it on YouTube, making live streams every day. Tomorrow I'm going to make a Japanese tempura and it's going to be absolutely lovely and I'm going to, you know, you know when you make a tempura, you, you, you enjoy with your favorite sauce. So it's going to be a great one, you know, I'm going to make a Japanese meal tomorrow. So I make different dishes all over the world. I've made dishes from the UK, the US, the Americans, the Indians, Asia, Europe, Nigeria, Ghana, the rest of the world. Different dishes, my friends. So tomorrow is going to be the Japanese one. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this lovely session, cooking yummy dishes around the world. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my dough. I'm going to make my dough from start to finish. So, you know, I don't want to rush it, but I'm going to show you how to make the dough now. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you're enjoying this live stream, please click the subscribe button and stay connected to this lovely session so that I don't miss every upload and every live stream. So I'm gonna make my lovely fish roll dough now from start to finish. And 
I have my salmon fillet cooking in the oven and I also have my you know my cold water in the freezer I want to chill my my, my 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 dough because if you use water from the tap to to make your dough it's not gonna stick together it's gonna crack so this is the secret in making a pastry you know you want to make a pastry you want to put some fillings right in there so you need to chill the, the dough so it doesn't crack it doesn't break apart so when you're rolling it on the table it's going to stay together so my friends sit back relax and enjoy don't leave this wonderful live stream stay connected and keep watching thank you very much so now i'm going to you know pop my bowl right on the table so that's my lovely bowl now i'm going to weigh my flour so i'm going to get my uh, you know my scale to weigh my lovely flour So that's my scale. I'm gonna I'm gonna tie that at zero. I'll set my scale at zero. That's the first thing to do as a chef. Set your scale at zero and weigh your ingredient. Do not use your ingredient um, the way you like. You need to weigh. So I'm gonna weigh that now. I need 250 grams of plain white flour. So um, that's 250 grams of plain white flour. I'll set that aside. Now, I'm gonna add a pinch of sea salt. You can use the table salt if you want to, but I love using sea salt. So that's uh, my uh, sea salt, a little bit of sea salt, a pinch of sea salt. Now, if you wanna add uh, your, uh, you wanna spice it more, you can add like a cube vegetable cubes, you know, but like in my country, in Nigeria, they add vegetable cubes, like a no chicken cubes or whatever, but I already added sea salt, so I don't need to put my cubes, you know, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add more nutmeg, because nutmeg is a very nice, you know, spice and flavor, so I need one teaspoon of nutmeg, so I'm going to add a little bit of nutmeg, one teaspoon, so it's going to give it a very nice, you know, taste, aroma. So I'm going to mix that up with my spatula. So I'm going to get my spatula now. Or if you could use, if you don't want to use a spatula, you could use, you could use a stick, a wooden spoon or whatever. You just, you know, give it a quick stir. Now, what I'm going to do now, I need baking powder. I just need a teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking powder. That's what I need. But before adding my baking powder, because I want my meat pie, you know, to become big, so I don't need to add baking powder quickly. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add my butter. So I'm gonna weigh butter now. I'm gonna weigh. What I do, I normally use the uh, unsalted butter because if you use the margarine, it doesn't give it a good quality pastry. But if you use your butter, it gives you a very good quality pastry and a very nice dough. So what I'm going to do now, my friends, I'm going to weigh, and I told you, my friends, when you're making pastries like meat pie, fish pie, fish roll, or whatever, what you need, you need half, your butter needs to be half the flour. So if I'm using 500 grams of flour, it means my butter is going to be 250 grams. If I'm using 250 grams of flour, my butter is going to be 125 grams of butter. So I'm using... 250 grams of flour right here it means i'm going to add 125 grams of butter so my friends i'm going to weigh my butter now i'm going to weigh 125 grams of butter so i'm going to grab another you know i'm going to grab a little bowl right here i'm going to turn on a zero as i said before so that's on zero so i'm going to weigh my butter now i'm going to grab my uh my knife so now what i'm going to do now my friends i'm gonna you know Weigh my butter quickly, and uh, I told you, my friends, don't worry if you don't have a mixer or something. You could use your hand. That's all right. Use your hand, blend your butter right in there, and you, you're gonna get a very nice texture and all that. You don't need to worry yourself. You know, feel free to use your hand. That's all right. So I'm gonna be showing you how I do it with my hands. So that's my butter. So I actually need 125 grams of butter. So I have. 
100 right in there so there you go so now yeah that's enough so that's my bottom my friends so i'm gonna pop that straight into that's 125 straight into my flour so i'm gonna quickly remember my friends this is a pastry for pies or rolls you don't need to add sugar we don't need sugar here yeah. so now remember my friends right in this bowl we have 250 grams of plain flour we have a pinch of sea salt but i said you could use uh your, your normal sea salt or your normal table salt if you want to or you could use your rock salt any salt you like you can use but i love using sea salt so that's my sea salt a pinch of sea salt and i have 250 grams of flour Right in there, I have my nutmeg, one teaspoon. So I got my butter right in there. And my butter is 125 uh, grams, half the flour. So I'm gonna quickly use my both palms to, you know, rub in my butter and my flour. I wanna blend them together with my hands quickly. I don't wanna uh, use my uh, stand mixer. You know, right here, I teach my, uh, my viewers how to make a pastry with their hand because not everybody could afford to buy a mixer or something so what i do i teach by hand so but if you have a mixer you can use it if you want to that's all right so now i'm still blending my um uh, my flour and uh, my uh you know i want to mix my dry ingredients together so that's what i'm doing so what i'm gonna do now you know my friends when you're making pastries you need to mix your dry ingredients first and after mixing your dry ingredient, what you need to do, you make it well at the middle. So when you make it well at the middle, what next do you need to do? We need to put our, you know, our liquid ingredient. So of course, when you're making pastry, what are the liquid ingredients? Your liquid ingredients could be your milk, of course, your eggs, your flavor, your water, and whatever. So what I'm going to do now, you know, my friends, we're making a pie dough, our fish roll dough. So what we need to do, we don't need milk, we need eggs, we need cold water, and we need flavor. So right now, I have my lovely, you know, dough, you know, my mixture is already, is ready. Can you see that, my friend? So I'm going to make it well at the middle now, and I'm going to quickly mix up my lovely dough and get started to make our lovely fish roll. So my friends, stay put to this station. Do not leave. Keep watching what I'm doing, my friends. So now I'm going to check my fish because I can perceive it. My fish is almost ready. So I'm going to check what's going on now. Yeah, my salmon fish is cooking. I love salmon. Salmon are very good. They are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Very lovely fish. So I'm going to grab my cold water in the freezer. So my friends, my water is very cold. Now, I'm going to grab, you know, a bowl. That's a bowl. So now, right in this bowl, I'm gonna pop one egg. You know, I'm gonna use one egg, but I'm not gonna pop all the egg right in there because I just need a little bit of egg, like half egg. I'm gonna beat that with my uh, wigs. You know, the, the, um, the Americans will say, beat the eggs, but right in the UK, you say, wix the egg. You know, this is the wix, so you say, wix the egg, but it's same thing when the Americans say, beat the eggs. So when you beat the eggs or wix the egg, it means the same thing. So you don't need to beat it very well, just a little bit, you know, we're not making cakes. That's all right. So I'm going to pop half of the egg the beaten eggs right into my lovely bowl so i'm going to quickly clean my mess because when i'm walking i need to make my station very neat i'm going to quickly clean that so 
My friend, you see I'm walking, we saving our time. So what I'm doing, while my fish is cooking in the oven, I'm working on this. But if I was working on this and my fish is not yet ready, it's gonna be a mess. So now I have half of my egg straight into this lovely dough. So what I'm gonna do next now, I'm gonna add my flavor. I need one teaspoon of vanilla flavor. So I'm gonna pop that in, that's one teaspoon. Now, I have my flavor. So I'm gonna repeat myself again. What do I have in this bowl? If you have a jotter and a pen, a jotter and a pen, you can write down. Right in this bowl, I have 250 grams of flour, 125 grams of butter, a pinch of sea salt, and I also have half egg right in there, weeks already. I have vanilla flavor, one teaspoon. You can keep writing if you have your jotter. So now I'm gonna repeat it myself for the last time. You, we have 250 grams of flour right in this bowl, a pinch of salt, nutmeg, half one teaspoon, I beg a paddle of nutmeg, and we have flavor, one teaspoon, and egg, half egg. Now, I'm gonna add my baking powder right into this lovely, I need one teaspoon of baking powder. So, my friends, if you are not doing this live stream, this is Cook with Chef Francis live on YouTube. If you are not yet subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button so you don't miss the latest from Cook with Chef Francis. I make live streams every day. Tomorrow is going to be a very nice one. I'm going to be making a Japanese tempura. It's going to be very lovely. So I make dishes from all over the world. I made dishes from the UK, the US, the Indians, the Japanese, you know, the Australians and the rest. So check out my upload. Check out my playlist, check out my live stream playlist, check out my bread playlist, check out my dessert playlist, check out my, uh, my status playlist. You're going to see bright stuff, dishes from all over the world. So keep watching every day. Stay tuned to this lovely channel. This is a lovely channel. Here we teach, you know, the real thing. We make it for real. And from start to finish, I don't skip anything. I don't fast forward. I show my viewers everything. So now I'm going to pop my baking powder straight into this wonderful... Uh, um, mixture. So I'm going to grab a teaspoon now. So my friends, this is a uh, one teaspoon. So I need one teaspoon of baking powder. So what I'm going to do now, I can perceive the um, the aroma from the salmon fish. But my friends, you know, I'm using salmon. But it doesn't mean you're going to use salmon. My friends, you could use any fish you like, your favorite fish, like your mackerel. You could use your mackerel, your sea bass, your hard dog, you know, you know, your favorite fish, my friends. That's all right. Any fish you like, white or pink fish, that's all right. So I'm using the pink one called my salmon fish. So now I'm going to use my, my wooden spoon to mix everything together. Remember, remember my friends, we don't need milk. So I'm mixing everything together. Now what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pop my chilled water. This water was in the freezer. I told you my friends, please, when you're making a pie, do not use water from the tap. You don't use warm water. Do not use water from the tap because you're gonna ruin it. The dough is not gonna bind together. But what we need is cold water from the fridge or from the freezer. So I'm going to quick, you know, I'm, I'm going to quickly mix that all quickly. So just to double check again, we have our flour right in here. We have our eggs, of course, we have butter, we have salt, we have flavor, we have nutmeg. And you can add one more additional ingredient you like, as I said, in my native country where I was born, we uh, in Nigeria, we can add like you know no chicken cubes or maggi or whatever just a little bit but you need to sieve it you know what i mean to add more spice but what i do here in the uk is you know, i add more nutmeg you know nutmeg my favorite spice so when i add nutmeg it gives me what i want so now be careful because when you make a meat pie you just need a little bit of water so you need to put your hand right in there because you don't put your hand you're not going to know if you need more water or less water you don't want to add too much but of course, I'm going to give you a measurement for 20 grams of flour. If you add about 50 milliliters of water, that's going to be enough. 
So I'm gonna quick quickly mix that up. I want to have, you see my hand is chilly because I'm using the chilly water, the very chilly water. And of course, you don't want your dough to be very hard. If your dough is very hard, you're gonna ruin your meat, your meat pie. And if your dough is too watery, you're gonna ruin it. So what we need, we need a soft, a soft and non-sticky dough. So that's my water in beads. Put your water in beads, put your hands in and check what's going on. You can see it's soft but not sticky. So yeah, I can add a little bit of egg if I want. You know, I told you half egg, but this is one egg I mix. I can just add a little bit of egg again. That's all right. Pies are very good when you make pies. They are lovely, you know. And of course, I love to glaze them very well. When I glaze them, they look glossy and shiny. You know, when you polish your new shoe, you know what I mean? Like you buy a new shoe and your shoe is shiny. You know, that's what we want. We don't want to make a roll that is not shiny. So now I got my lovely soft dough. So I'm gonna show you what's going on now. You see my dough is you know nice and soft. So I'm gonna use my hand because I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. So what I'm gonna do now, my friends, I'm gonna show you that my dough is nice and soft. You can see I'm playing with that. Nice and soft and non sticky. This is nice and soft dough and non sticky. So now, what I normally do, you see my dough is not cracked. Right here, I teach you, my friends, how to get a quality dough. If you check most people's dough, you see it's, not, it's, it's cracked. It's cracked and it's not looking very nice. But if you check my thumbnail, you see how colorful my pie is. My rolls are very, always colorful without cracks. They look absolutely glossy and shiny because when you ring your dough, you don't get the right result. But my dough are absolutely nice. They are sensational. Look at that, my friends. Nice and soft, no cracks on them. So you see, my friends, they look nice. What I normally do, I always like to beat them together. So when I beat them, they come together, they don't, they don't form cracks. And of course, when you see it, you see that it looks nice. So that's what I normally do, my friends. I give it a few tap and they bind together easily. Even if it had cracks before, when you do this, they come together. This is one of my secrets, what I do when I'm making dough. Then I always have a nice ball. Look at that, my friends. This is absolutely nice. So now I'm gonna pop this into this wonderful bowl and I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna put this back in the fridge again because when you put your lovely pastry dough in the fridge again, it's gonna chill and gives you a very nice you know, dough without cracks. So I'm gonna wash my hand now and pop my lovely dough you know, in the fridge. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it out from the bowl and I'm gonna wrap it with my lovely cling film. So now I'm gonna grab my cling film. But before then, I'm gonna check what's going on with my fish. So my fish is cooked now. I'm gonna turn off my oven. So I oven cooked that for 25 minutes. So that's ready now. So I'm gonna grab my my um, lovely dough. So next, I'll be using my chef knife, or you call it your cook's knife. So I'll be using that to chop my vegetables. So um, I have my lovely uh, dough now. So I'll pop that in the fridge. It's nice and chilly. So, my friends, there's no rush when you're making a pie. You know, this pie I'm making or roll is the uh, African and Caribbean style. But if right here in the UK, it's the same dough you're gonna do right here in the UK, in the Europe and America. What they do, this is a fish bowl. What you need to do, you put your sauce right in this bowl and you take that lovely, lovely pastry 
you roll it out and you cover that here, you know, on top and you seal it up and you put it straight in the oven and you take your fork and you eat it. So my friends, this is all about culture. We're making pie, fish pie, meat pie, pork pie, whatever is similar. So it's the same style. But of course, here in the UK, we also have pork pie made like the Caribbean or the African style. You know, round pork pies covered with pastry. It's similar, everything is similar. Any, any how you want to do it, it doesn't really matter. If you want to roll your pastry out and put your fillings right in there, seal it up, it's up to you, my friends, or you want to put it right in here and cover with the pastry. Just the most important thing is for you to make a very nice pastry and a very tasty sauce. When you make a very tasty sauce and a very nice pastry, of course, you're going to have a very nice pie or rolls. So now, I have my dough in the fridge ready. Then I'm going to quickly show you my lovely salmon. So uh, I will cook my salmon. It's lovely. It's ready. Can you see that? And you can you can hear the sound from the garlic, you know, and the and the olive oil. The olive oil and garlic is making some sound. Can you hear that? It's absolutely hot and nice. Lovely fish. Look at that, my friends. You know, not burnt. Nice color. So I'm going to skin it. I'm going to skin the fish and mix it with my sauce. Then when I'm ready, I'm going to move my camera close to the hole. And show you my friends how to make a lovely sauce so I'm gonna pop my fish somewhere I'm gonna leave it to stand here while I walk with my lovely you know, um, sauce or fillings so I want to make my fillings now because if we don't know how to make our fillings, then of course we're not gonna get a lovely pie. So now I'm gonna pop my butter back in the fridge because I don't need it anymore. So I'll put that away. So my friends, yeah, I'm ready now. So now my friends, uh, I don't think I don't need the scale, I'll put that away. Of course, I need my rolling pin, so I'm gonna put that aside. Yeah. Anything I don't need, I'll put them away because now we want to make our lovely you know dough. So you can still use that. Now my friends, I'm gonna grab my uh, uh, peeler. So what I'm gonna do now my friends, I'm gonna peel my uh, my potatoes quickly. I just need one potato, so I'm gonna peel that quickly. I'm using the new potatoes, so I'm gonna peel that in a bowl. When you're working, you just need a, a bean bowl. So that you don't mess your table up and your board up. So now, so uh, I got my uh, potatoes right in there. I'll peel that now. I'm gonna quickly wash that and uh, I'm gonna quickly, you know, chop that. So I want to I want to chop it finely. Well, I normally do I always chop my force before I, you know, I chop it finely before I uh, steam them. But you can steam them. You can you can steam them. You can steam them uh, if you if you if you if you like before boiling. But I love this method, my friends. So now I got a Julian of the. Uh, Potatoes, so I'm gonna now. I'm gonna, you know, 
chop my julienne now into I'm gonna make it a fine dice. So I don't want to make it to uh, just a fine dice, my friends. So I'll, I'll bring them together. Lovely. That was falling off. <laughs> yeah. I'll bend that. Yeah. Swing the bend. We don't need too much potatoes. Right? I'm using them. Um, I'm using just a little bit. Just one potatoes. That's alright. We don't need too much, my friends. Yeah, I'll make it slim Julian. So my friends, we're almost there. So my friends, I'm ready now. So, uh, yeah, that's finally chopped. So now I'm gonna pop that. I got a nice dice of uh, my potatoes. Now I'm gonna steam that for, you know, I'm gonna put that in a saucepan and steam that for about five minutes. Because I'm gonna be using my lovely potatoes, you know, in my lovely sauce fillings. So a little bit of water and potatoes. I'm gonna put that on now. So I like that to boil away. Why that is boiling away? I'm gonna quickly. You know, I'm going to quickly chop my um, carrot. So I'm going to peel my carrot now. You can use one large carrot or two medium size or one and a half, you know, or two, two small ones. That's all right. One large or two small. Carrot, that's alright. So I'm using two small ones. The other one is a little bit bigger than the other one. That's alright. So I'm gonna wash that quickly. So now my friends, I finished washing that. I'm gonna make a julienne. So now So my friends, that's my lovely Julian. I'm gonna make another Julian now. That's another Julian.
So I got my lovely Julia now. So I'm gonna chop it finely. I'm gonna give it a fine dice. So that's a fine dice. I'm gonna eat that one. So that's what I like. Fine dice. So now, yeah, pop that in the bin. So I have a fine dice of my carrot and my my potatoes have uh, is boiling away. So for five minutes, I'm going to put that away. I'm going to remove that from the hob. So my friends, I have my lovely carrot. Fine dice. So I'm going to pop it there. That's a lovely fine dice of Faro. Now, my friends, I have a lovely fine dice of Faro. So I'll pop that aside. Now, I'm gonna wash my uh, bell pepper. I need a little bit of pepper. So I'm gonna pop that in the fridge. I don't need that anymore. So that's my potatoes, my friends. It's already steamed. So I'll leave that, I'll remove that from the hall. Now, I'm gonna, take off the seed from the uh, pepper. And I'm gonna make a fine dice. So my friends, I have a fine, a fine dice now. That's it, my friends. So I'm gonna pop that, you know, by the side. So now my friends, I'm going to put this away, I don't need it anymore. So I'm going to clean my work surface, put that away. Put that away. Okay, I need one more egg for glazing the ceiling. So I'm gonna pop that right here. I need egg wash. So I'll put that away. I don't need it anymore.
My friends, I'm right back. Just a second, please. Thank you. my friends, I'm going to wish my hair quickly. So I'll be using that for my glazing and sealing to seal my uh, meat fire and to glaze it as well. So that's what I'm doing. So I'll quit beating that. So now, that's alright. So I'm going to pop my pastry brush right in this lovely uh, So that's my uh, pastry brush, so I'll pop it there. Now my friends, I'm going to clean my uh, board. My friends, now we have we have our fish ready. Of course, fish is ready. Uh, we have our carrot ready. You know, my friends, I said. We have our dough ready in the fridge. I'll be bringing out my dough in the next 15 minutes to roll it out. But before then, my friends, we need to make our lovely sauce. So, of course, I'm going to be using my finely chopped or diced carrot and my finely diced yellow bell pepper but I said you could use your green bell pepper or the um, red one isn't it and I'm gonna grab my um, potatoes now from one potato we need um, finely diced so now I've dyed my potato, so I'm going to pop it straight into this place. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to sieve my potato. I'm going to drain it. Now I'll drain the water now. And pop it here by the side. So my friends, that's our lovely potatoes. Yeah. So if you can see, this is a handful of finely diced carrot, a handful of finely diced 
um, bell pepper, and a handful of, you know, chopped potatoes. Now, I'm going to skin my fish. And I'm going to try my lovely fish. This fish tastes absolutely lovely, so I'm going to try it. It's a lovely salmon, very pink. Absolutely nice. Tastes great. No bones. So I skinned that off. Now, my friends, I'm going to pop that in a, in a bowl. So I'll use my hands, that's my lovely fish, I'll use my hands to break the fish, you know, I want to break them into, you can break them into this size, that's alright, into chunks. So my friends, I have some lovely uh, garlic from the fish, so I'm going to pop it right in there. We don't need the skin, so I skin it off. Skin off. Taste nice, my friends. So, I added my garlic there. Very nice. I'm going to wash my hand now. The garlic from the fish, we need to add it. So it's going to add flavor. Absolutely lovely, my friends. So I'm going to bean that now. And the olive oil, lovely. Straight in the bean. Now, my friends, I have my lovely, you know, salmon fish. The salmon fillet, lovely in chunks. So I'll set that aside. Now my friends, I need a tray to bake my fish roll. So my friends, that's my lovely tray for baking the fish roll. So I'm gonna pop that on my table. And as well, I need um, the parchment paper. So, uh, so I'm going to pop my fish roll on that one. So my friends, this is my parchment paper. So on this parchment paper, I'm gonna sprinkle flour. That's it, my friends. I don't want my pie to stick, my roll to stick, so I'll, I'll set that aside. Now, yeah, I'll set that aside. I can leave that here. 
Now, my friends, I'm gonna, you know, fry my sauce now. So I need a frying pan. So my friends are the frying pan. I'll turn that on. But now I'm gonna bring my, uh, you know, my camera close. Yeah, so you can see the frying pan while I'm cooking. So that's my camera close to my frying pan. Now I'm going to add a little bit of butter, you know, right into this lovely frying pan. Just a little bit of butter straight into that pan. And then I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. You know, a little bit of olive oil so my friends while that is melting I'm gonna quickly you know finally dice my onion So my friends, I'm going to quickly use my cook's uh, chef knife. To dice my onion. So my friends, now I'm going to quickly, just want to be careful so I don't yeah, moving the camera. I'm gonna peel my onion now. Yeah. I wanna dice my onion, so I'll quickly do that now. My friends, I want to sweat my onion, so I'm going to sweat the onion, so uh, so I'm going to quickly chop it while we wait. I don't need too much of onion, just a little bit. So I'm chopping that now. You might not see it, but just a little bit, you know, dice. I don't want to dice it too much. Just a little bit of onion, not everything. Half onion is all right. So my friends, now, uh, I'm just waiting for the, uh, olive oil and onion to uh, you know to melt then I'm gonna gonna quickly you know sweat my onion in uh, in the olive oil so I'm gonna you know give it a quick stir with uh, with uh, 
with a wooden spoon. So I have my fish, you know, and I have my oven is a little bit warm. That's all right. Now, I'm going to quickly sweat my uh, onion now. My oil should be a little bit hot right now. So my onions straight into my oil. It's not, it's not yet hot. Give it some time. So I'll put that away. So I'm gonna sweat my onion. But when you're sweating your onion, make sure the oil is very hot. It's hot enough, but not you know hot, but not extremely hot. So I'm sweating the onion now. You know I'm gonna sweat with that color. I don't want it to get too brown. So I'm gonna sweat it with that color. So. Uh, I'm sweating my onion with that color. Yeah, I'll give it some time to sweat. I don't want to rush it, my friends. Let's give it some time to sweat. Now you see now it's sweating. You can see right in there, it's sweating. And you can see the steam. The steam is coming out from the uh, from the frying pan, so it shows. When you see the steam coming out, it shows it's sweating. So now, now uh, I'm gonna pop my uh, uh, my fish. You know, you know my fish has contains some garlic and all that, so I'm gonna pop it now. And mix it with the sweated uh, onion. I can perceive the onion to be sweated, so I'm gonna gonna stir that now. You know, and break them a little. I'm gonna break them apart. So now I'm gonna pop my uh, my carrot, my potatoes, and uh, bell pepper straight into my lovely uh, fillings. Then I'm gonna quickly add a little bit of pepper, black pepper. You know, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sea salt. And I'll give it a quick stir. I'll add a little bit of uh, ginger and turmeric straight in there. Turmeric, ginger. So, uh, so uh, I'll mix that up. If you cannot flip, you can use your hand. So that's it, my friends. So that one off from the hole. Yeah. 
zur Now I add a little bit of flour. I want it to bind together, so I'm gonna add about um, half tablespoon of flour or one tablespoon. That's all right. One tablespoon is all right. So I'm gonna quickly. You know, mix that up. And I'm going to add a little bit of water. I want it to cook together. I want my sauce to bind together. So I'm going to add water. You know, the water and flour is going to make it bind together. You know. I want it nice and sweet. And you see, it's almost nice. Yeah. Let's give it some time to cook away. Now I'm going to turn my oil off, I'm going to turn that off, and the remaining heat is going to cook it. So, so I'm going to allow my sauce to cook away. So, can you see my friends, it's already binding together. So, that's going to be a lovely, you know, fish roll. It's nice. Absolutely nice, my friends. So, I'm going to try it now and see how tasty it is. It's going to taste great, isn't it? I'm going to taste it now. So, I'm going to try it, see how lovely it is. So, I'm going to try it now. Wow. Tastes absolutely sweet, my friends. Lovely salmon. Going to be a lovely fish roll. So now, my friends, I'm going to, you know, start rolling my dough. So I'm going to push back my camera. So now, my friends, we're back to work on our work surface. So my camera is, uh, you know, back to its normal position. Now, I'm going to pop my olive oil back into my lovely cover. And... I'm gonna put that away, I don't need that anymore. I need my eggs. You know, anything I don't need, I'll put it away. I need my rolling pin. And uh, of course, I need to wipe my work surface. I need to clean it. My work surface needs to be very clean. So, uh, I'm gonna quickly, you know, Bring out my dough, I'll remove my dough from the fridge now. That's my lovely dough, my friend. My friends, the lovely dough is ready. So I'm gonna, you know, leave it there. And of course, 
I need my pastry quarter. My friends, that's my pastry quarter. I need that one. Of course, I need my flour. I need my pastry quarter. I need eggs. I need my dough. I need my loading pin. So, my friends, I'm gonna get started now to make my lovely fish roll. So, I'm gonna you know, pop my sauce right here for it to cool and uh, when it cools down, I'm gonna use it. You don't put it when it's hot. Lovely my friends. Lovely feelings. It looks absolutely gorgeous my friends. So my friends, I have my lovely uh, feelings right here, so I cannot wait to use it, looks absolutely gorgeous my friends. So now I'm going to try it again, mmm, tastes really nice. So my friends, that's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I'm gonna pop that here and clean my work surface again. Then next, I'm gonna sprinkle flour on my work surface. And I'm gonna pop some flour right here. I'll be using that again. So. That should be enough. So then I'm gonna pop that aside. Now I'm gonna unwrap my dough. That's my non-sticky dough. So I'm gonna unwrap that. Now You can see how nice my dough is soft and non-sticky and it looks absolutely gorgeous, round and soft. So now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, flour my rolling pin and I'm gonna roll this into rectangles. I'm going to be making different uh, sizes. So now, so you see how lovely it is. So now I'm going to use my pastry cutter to trim it.
Now, I'll be right back, my friends. Just a second, thank you. So my friends, I'm going to pop my uh, lovely uh, fish pie sauce right here. Then I'm going to I'm going to add some uh, egg wash. I want to seal it with egg wash, so I'm going to pop my egg wash right here so now i'm gonna roll it you know i'm just gonna roll it then after rolling my friends i'm gonna use the fork to seal the edges So that's it my friends, I got a very nice roll here, so I'll pop it on the, uh, it's right here my friends, so that's one of those. So I'll keep making different sizes of my roll. So you can make any type of size you like, short or long. You know, you can make you can make it like this. I see my friends, that's all right. So now I want to make, you know, a very long one now. So I'm going to pop that one there. Then I'm going to make a round shape. You know, I want it round my friends. So now I'm gonna pop the egg wash. I'm gonna glaze with egg wash. I beg your pardon. I'll glaze with egg wash. Then. I'm going to roll it again so now I have a rectangular shape a row shape but your father my friends
So you can do it that way. You just seal it up. That's a long shape. So my friends, I'm gonna make another long one. You know, I want it, I want it very long. So that's what I'm doing, my friends. So now, another long one. We repeat the same process, we keep doing that. So we have a very long, nice row. I form a circle. So that's uh, um, another one. So I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna glaze that with egg, egg wash, more egg wash. So now, I'm going to see that. So I'll see that with my fork. And I'm going to pop that one there. So I'm getting the lovely, you know, pie shape. I'll keep doing the same thing on and on until I finish up my pastry. So my friends, you can see, I'm gonna pull down back. That flower should be enough. So I'll put my flower away. So I'm gonna get make another round shape. Yeah. So I'll keep doing this. I want a very you know nice shape. Round I can set it aside Keep rolling that I want a very round shape I want it round Nice and round so I'll keep rolling it So I'm gonna pop my uh, my fish, my fillings right in there. I'm gonna glaze with egg wash. So I'm gonna roll it. 
you know, I want, I want a pie shape. So now I'm going to use my fork to seal the edges. So you can see my friends, that's a lovely, um, you know, shape. I could just use my fork to seal this side. I don't want it to open. So you can see my friends, nice, nice uh, fish roll shape. So I'm going to sprinkle flour on the, uh, yes, yeah. pull down on the, now you're going to be sweating, you need to pop in flour there. So I'm going to quickly roll that now. So I'm going to glaze it again with egg wash. I'll see the edges again with fork. Now, I'm going to pop more sauce on that one. Egg wash. So I'm going to see that one, same way. And of course you want to see this side. So my friends, I have one more one more to go that's the last one so before then I'm gonna turn my oven on so I'm gonna create my oven quickly and roll that one My 
friends. I'm gonna pop fish on that one. Egg wash. So I'm going to seal it again with my fork. So I'm going to use my fork to seal the edges. So I've sealed those uh, with fork now. I'm going to pop that on the uh, So now my friends, I'm going to glaze my lovely uh, fish roll. Straight into the oven. I'm going to glaze it with egg wash and start baking now. So what I'm going to do now is uh, show you my friends I glaze with egg wash I want it to be glossy so I'm gonna use egg wash I mistakenly injured that one so happens sometimes now I'm gonna give you a quick glaze that's lovely isn't it shiny now You can see my friends, they look absolutely gorgeous, you know, lovely egg wash. So I'll quickly do that now and pop everything straight into the oven. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have seven of those. So my friends, now I'm going to pop that straight into the oven. So I'll do that for about 20 minutes. So I'll put it in my oven now. So look at that nice and glossy, shiny, straight into the oven, my friends. So it's on gas mark. So I'm setting it at 20 minutes, gas mark 20 minutes, 190. So my friends, uh, I'm going to clean my, uh, this is absolutely nice, I'm going to try it. I'll put them in the fridge. Now, I'm still going to be using the egg wash, so when I need the egg wash, I'll bring it here to glaze again. So I'll put everything I don't need away, and I'll quickly clean my work surface. I want my work surface neat again, but before then, I'm going to set my timer. For 20 minutes. So in 20 minutes, I'm gonna check my fish fry, my fish roll in 20 minutes. 
start. So I'll check that in 20 minutes. So it should be ready in 20 minutes. And we're gonna we're gonna end our live stream in 30 minutes. So I'm cleaning my work surface now. I want it neat, nice and clean. So I'm cleaning my work surface, my friends. My work top needs to be neat before I proceed. Always neat, all the time. So my friends, I'll be right back in just a minute. Thank you very much.
So my friends, I'm back now. Uh, I want to check what's going on now. Do you So my friends, my lovely pie is cooking. Lovely pie. So it's been there for five minutes. I have it's been there for seven minutes. So I'm left with seven minutes more. I beg your pardon, you've been there for seven minutes and a half, 30 minutes more. So I'll be checking my door and see what's going on. So my friends, uh, you can see how I made my lovely pie. It looks absolutely gorgeous, my friends. So now, uh, I'll give you a recap again. Of what I did, and now I got to this point. So, my friend, you can see uh, my fish bowl is similar to fish pie. So, it's just a shape, it's similar, it's just a shape. So, but I said initially, if you check my thumbnail, you will see I said without oven, no problem. But I'm using oven, so I'm going to be telling my viewers who don't know how to, who don't have an uh, oven or who want to bake without oven. So you want to bake with that oven, what you need to do when, you, when you're ready to bake, you, you take a parchment paper and place it in the pot or you could just oil your pot with butter and sprinkle flour in it. If you oil your pot with butter and sprinkle flour in it, that's alright. Or you just put a parchment paper. Then you're going to place your roll on that. But in, I beg your pardon, not your pot. You need to oil your pan, not your pot, your pan with butter, your, your baking pan or your tray, the oil down with butter, sprinkle flour in it, on it, or you could just place a baking paper or a packing paper on top of your pan. Then you need a pot, a large pot, big pot. You know, in that pot, you can add sand into that pot, you know, and place stones on the pan, or you could place like an empty can, you know, same size, you know, not very high, about three centimeters tall or four centimeters tall, so that you can place, you know, your, your sand is at the bottom of the pot, then the stone or the can is on that, you can put like four or five or six, and place your baking pan on top of the stone you know so then you place your meat pie on the packing paper on the, on the baking pan then you put that straight on top of the you know hob or your gas hob and you start cooking you know you bake it for you know uh, about 20 minutes as well but of course you need to preheat your pot containing the sun you need to preheat that so when you preheat your pot containing the sun, it's gonna be warm before you place your, you know, your stuff in that. So most times that method is practiced in uh, in Africa, you know, in the villages, you know, those that cannot afford the oven, they do that, you know, they place that on the, uh, you know, they do that kind of method, and that's alright for them. So my friends. Uh, as I said, this is Cook with Chef Francis, making it real on YouTube, live on YouTube, making videos every day, live streams every day. So I'm going to wish you, my friends, again a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance. Of course, we're celebrating Christmas and we're happy and we want to, everyone want to get into the new year. New year, new beginnings. Everyone want to be happy into the new year. Of course, New Year is a time for us to celebrate. Well, some some might buy a new house, a new car, or maybe you know get married, 
or whatever, you know, different gifts for the new year. Everyone have a new year resolution or something. So, but of course, we're happy to be alive. So I'm happy to cook every day because if I don't have the strength, I'm not going to be able to cook every day. But I thank God for my strength, you know, for, for God giving me strength to cook, you know. So my friends, now I'm going to, you know, explain everything again from start to finish, how I got to this point. You know, my fish pie is baking in the oven and I have about seven minutes more for it to be ready. And the fish flow is absolutely looking good. Just straight, I'm, I can look, I can see, I can see through the window or through the glass of my oven and I can see my fish roll is doing great. So my friends, when I introduced myself from the very beginning, I said, my name remains Francis and this is Kuku Chef Francis, making it on YouTube. And I said, tomorrow I'll be making the tempura, the Japanese tempura. It's going to be a lovely one. You know, stay tuned for that one. And it's going to be at 11 a.m. UK time. So I'm going to welcome my friends from all over the world again. From the UK, the US, Canada, Australia, Romania, Nigeria, Japan, um, Denmark, Netherlands. Greece, Spain, Australia, Singapore, all over the world, Philippines. This is Cook with Chef Francis live on YouTube, making it real on YouTube. So now, I'm going to say the recipes again and the method, and I'll go to this point. So, the recipes for my lovely fish pie. I use 250 grams of plain flour, 125 grams of butter, half egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla flavor, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of nutmeg, a pinch of sea salt, and about 50 milliliters of cold water. For my fillings, that's what the dough, for my fillings, I use One onion, one onion, finely chopped, finely chopped onion. Two uh, salmon fillet, grilled already or roasted. And I grilled it with ground turmeric, ground ginger, garlic puree, a little bit of salt, sea salt, olive oil, and you know, ground black pepper. I place the fish straight into the oven and I cook it oven cooked for 25 minutes and that was perfectly you know well cooked. Then uh, I allow it to rest to stand you know to cool for some time and I skin it off and cut it in chunks and I place it in a bowl in a fish bowl. Then, for the vegetables, what I did, I brought one, a medium size of white potatoes. I peeled the white potatoes and I made a julienne with the potatoes and I finely diced the potatoes and I pop it in a saucepan and I top with a little bit of water and I allow it to boil away, to cook away for about five minutes. You drain the water and place my lovely, you know, potatoes on a plate. And I took two medium size of carrot. You could use one large carrot. That's all right. Medium size, two of those. I peel the carrot, wash it, make a julienne, and then finally give it a fine dice. Pop it on that same plate. Next, I cut some uh, bell pepper, you know, and I finally diced, moved the seed, finally diced, a handful of dice. I got a handful of dice, you know, yellow bell pepper. You could use a green bell pepper or red one, that's all right, and I pop it on the plate. 
Then I took my lovely frying pan. I can perceive my fish is almost ready. You know, when you perceive the aroma, you know your food is almost ready. I always say that. So now I pop my uh, olive oil, my, my frying pan, you know, I move my camera so that my viewers can see. You know, I don't have the camera man. <laughs> I do the camera man, you know what I mean? So I have to move my camera <laughs> and I pop it close to my hole <laughs> and I top with olive oil. You know, I top my pan with olive oil and melted butter. Now like one teaspoon of melted butter. I beg your pardon, one teaspoon of butter or shredded butter and I top with that a little bit of olive oil, about 20 mils, 20 milliliters of olive oil. And what else did I do? I allow that to heat up, then I took a handful of finely diced onion, you know, chopped onion, and I sweated that onion in the olive oil and butter. So after sweating, I added my fish and then mixed my fish together, my fish in chunks, I added the mix together, then I added my chopped carrot, my chopped uh, potatoes and chopped uh, yellow bell pepper you know I added a little bit of spices a little bit of sea salt again a little bit of uh, ground pepper and turmeric ground ginger you know and I mix everything up added one tablespoon of flour and about 20 milliliters of water like three tablespoons of water and I mix everything up and I was flipping but I said if you cannot flip you can use your spoon to mix but we chefs we always we always flip you know, we flip so that it mixes quickly. So you can flip or you can use your spoon, that's all right. So I flip it, mix it with the spoon as well, and I got a lovely sticky paste. I want it to bind together. So they, they came together and I like to rest. So I'm gonna check what's going on and you know finish up my explanation. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna glaze my meat pie for the second time. Uh, my fish roll for the second time, make a paddle. So I have one minute more. I'll bring up my fish roll now from the oven. I'll remove that from the oven. I'm going to remove that now. Then uh, So my friend, you can see Our fish roll is uh, ready. So now I'm gonna glaze it again a second time. So I'm gonna turn my 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 fish roll is already ready. So I wanna glaze it again. Absolutely looking nice. I love the aroma. It looks absolutely nice, my friends. Gorgeous, my friends. Nice and golden. Exactly 20 minutes. It took me exactly 20 minutes to bake this lovely, you know, fish bowl. It looks absolutely sensational, my friends. So you see it's dipping, so uh, my fish roll is ready, it's already dipping, so it shows that was the actual time. So I'm, I'm just going to put that, I already switched up my oven, so I'm just going to put that for for some time to just, you know. My friends note my oven is not on, I already switched it off, so I just want to leave that for two minutes. You see it's already beeping, it's ready. I left it for 20 minutes and it was ready. So I just wanna wanna allow the remaining heat from the oven to cook it. So I'm gonna, you know, what I'm gonna do now, my friends, is uh, I'm gonna finish my explanation and show you my fish roll. I love it's very hot on the table when I pop my uh, stuff from the oven. 
from the people I love it a lot. So when I put my hand, it's, it's really warm for me. So now, so I'm going to finish up my explanation. I said, when my sauce was ready, my feelings, I set it aside. I set my feelings aside. Then, what did I do next? I brought my dough from the fridge because I said when I mix all my ingredients, I had a lovely dough and it was not sticky. So I, you know, I bind them together and I made, I made a ball, you know, like a ball. So I molded it and I got a very nice non-sticky ball of dough. And I, I said you can use a stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, you can use your hand, your hands to make it. When you use your hands to make it, I hold my bowl with my left hand and I use my hand, hand my right hand to mix everything together. Nice soft ball of dough, non-sticky, nice and soft. So I play I wrap that with a clean pin, place that in the fridge. Then after about 20 minutes, I brought it out. And I cut them into eight, you know, I want eight, like eight of those. So I cut same size. I took my rolling pin, I floured my rolling ball, you know. I floured my rolling, uh, my walk top or walk surface. And I floured my rolling pin and I cut some portion, like a handful. And I rolled my dough into circle. And I used my tissue cutter to give it a round circular shape. And what next did I do? I took my sauce, placed in the middle, and I rolled, you know, I, 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 on, on the flattened dough, I added, you know, I used my pastry brush, dip into wash, into egg wash. I dip my pastry brush into egg wash, and I, you know, glaze, you know, the, 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 the edges of my pastry with egg wash, and I rolled everything, and I took a fork, and I seal the edges, you know, with a fork so that the pie or the roll is not going to be dripping. The, 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 the fillings from there is not going to drip while it's cooking. So I seal up the edges and I repeated that for the rest. And I place them on the floured baking paper so that it doesn't sweat. And when it sweat, it's like becoming sticky or something. But I add a flour at the bottom and I place them on the floured baking paper. I printed my own for about five minutes and I pop my uh, fish rolls into the oven and I allow them to bake for about 20 minutes. And when it was 20 minutes, you know, I, before I pop them in the oven, I already glazed the top with egg wash. Remember, your egg wash gives you a shiny effect, makes it glossy. So after that, I put it out from the oven and I glaze it again after 20 minutes. I turn off my oven, I switch my oven off, glaze it again and I put the pie or the roll there. I just want it to stay for about two minutes but the oven is already switched off. So the, that egg I use in glazing is going to give a shiny effect again. And right now I brought out my... Uh, Pie or my fish roll, and I showed you my fish roll is looking absolutely gorgeous. Well glazed, well golden brown, everything well sealed, and looks absolutely nice. So now I'm gonna try one and show you how it came out. I'm gonna try one and show you the result. So, my friends, this is the result of our fish roll. So, I'm gonna remove it from the oven and show you guys what I did. And I'm going to end this live stream. Thank you for your patience, my friends. Thank you for watching this live stream. My name remains, my name remains Francis. And this is Cookie Chef Francis making a video on YouTube. Thank you very much, my friends. So I'm going to grab that out from the oven. So my friends... You can see how nice that is. So it looks absolutely nice. So now that's the pie. Look at that, my friends. Shiny, isn't it? That's another one. It looks absolutely nice, shiny.
That's the first one I made. It's hot. Look at that, my friends. Looks absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? That's another one, my friends. Absolutely gorgeous. Lovely. So, my friends, I'm going to try one. I'm going to break that apart. Look at the steam from that coming out from there. And look at the, you know, the fish, the uh, the uh, salmon. So my friends, that's a lovely uh, fish roll. So I'm gonna try one. It's very hot. You enjoy your fish roll or your fish pie when it's hot. Of course, when it's cool, you don't enjoy it. So you enjoy when it's hot. So this is absolutely healthy. This is healthy meal. You can try it. Everything is really healthy. It contains healthy nutrients. This is absolutely nice, my friend. If I was in a mukbang, in mukbang, I'm gonna finish everything. But you know, I'm just making a live stream, so I'm gonna eat everything. But for a mukbang, you know what I mean? I'm gonna finish everything right here. I'm gonna try again. My friends, I cannot say anything. This looks absolutely sensational. So, my friends, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching this live stream. So. If you enjoyed this video and you have not yet subscribed, you know, please click the subscribe button. And when you click the subscribe button, you'll be subscribed. And when you are subscribed, please turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss the latest from Google Share Francis. Because if you don't if you subscribe and you don't turn on the bell, you're not gonna get a notification. You know, but when you turn on the bell, you will know when I'm uploading a new video or making a new live stream. But of course, tomorrow is going to be a great one. I'm going to be making a tempura, a Japanese tempura. So please keep your fingers crossed. Stay put. 11 a.m. tomorrow, UK time. I'll be, I'll be live again to make the Japanese tempura. So thank you my friends for watching this video on how to make our lovely fish roll. Thank you for your patience. I see remain Francis and this is Cook with Chef Francis, you know, making it real on YouTube, making real videos using the right recipes, using the right ingredients, making it from start to finish without any mistake. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Merci. Ciao. La revedere. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, my friends. Bye bye. Bye bye.